everybody, thanks for joining me today. Today I wanna to share with you my very special zucchini bread recipe. We grow things at home that are just so really special. I love, look at the size of the zucchini. Everything's really organic. Um, just the soil looks really rich. So we're really proud of those. This is actually one of the smaller ones. So this is something my daughter really loves. The whole family loves this stuff. So if there's a chance to get something healthy into the diet, I think that's always a great thing to do. So this is really simple. It's a quick bread. Everything goes in all at once. So I've got everything measured out here for you. We're just gonna dump it into the stand mixer bowl and then just have at it. So right here I have three cups of all-purpose flour, not self-rising, that's all-purpose. So you're just gonna dump that into the bowl. And I've got two and a quarter cups of white granulated sugar that goes in. I've got a cup of vegetable oil. Okay, again, you don't have to mix anything as it goes, you're just dumping it all in. Three eggs and some of my flavorings. So I've got a tablespoon of ground cinnamon. That always makes the aroma really nice. I've got a teaspoon of baking soda, a teaspoon of baking powder, a teaspoon of iodized salt, and then here are some really special ingredients that I really want to point out. This vanilla is called Hey La La Vanilla. It's from New Zealand. It has the most fragrant aroma of vanilla that I've ever encountered. I'm going to use a tablespoon of this. Um, if you haven't tried this brand, I really suggest you do. It's really, really special. And then a secret ingredient, I promised I'd share one with you. This is two teaspoons of glycerin. And this is something, we put it in a larger bottle. This is a four ounce bottle. You'll usually see it in a two ounce bottle because we use a lot of it. It's good for a number of things. And I'll talk about that in another video. But for this purpose, it's a moisture retentive ingredient. So what it's gonna do is really keep things moist in here. And I'm just gonna add the two teaspoons right into the batter. It's a little bit thick, not as thick as corn syrup and it has a slightly sweet taste, but it's not really gonna change the sweetness of this batter itself. Um, but the purpose of it is, it's gonna give your baked goods like an extra day or two of life before they start ha getting that stale, dried out taste. So that's kind of my secret. You can add it to your wedding cakes, muffins, cupcakes, anything you want, and breads, even like uh, savory type breads. So here's my ground zucchini, or a grated zucchini, and that's four cups worth, so I'm just gonna dump that right in you will be surprised how much moisture this adds. And it, adds, it has a little bit of crunch to it. And it gives, really gives your um, quick bread a body. So I'm just gonna use the paddle attachment on my mixer. And I always have asked, people ask me if they can use their hand mixer. And that's fine as long as it has a really good motor. It is kind of a, a thick batter to start out with. So you just wanna start it on low so everything doesn't fly out. So I'm just gonna put it on low and watch how that comes together. It makes a really, really nice batter. Once you see that it's all combined, you're gonna stop and scrape it and just make sure that it's getting all of the ingredients from the bottom. This comes together really in like a minute and you don't need to mix it for a long time like you would need to mix a batter, like a cake batter. So once you see it's combined a little bit, you can kind of start to pull the speed up to a number two or number three. And I'll just let you see the batter there. It's a, it's a nice batter. It's not too thin, it's not too thick. And this can be used for anything you want. I have some loaf pans out here that we sell. These are in, come in 12 packs and there's a mini loaf, a medium loaf, and a large loaf. But this is really great because these can go right in the oven and then they're disposable so you can give them away. It's a really nice container, has a little bit of a gold tint to it. You don't have to prepare these at all. They don't need any grease, no flour, nothing like that. You just pour the batter right in and bake it as usual. And you can also do, we'll go over here and we'll see, I, I've put some in standard muffin size and some in the mini muffin size. They bake just as well in any of these sizes. You will just have to adjust how long they stay in the oven, how long it's gonna depend on your oven. I usually bake, bake it at 350. The, the largest loaf can take 45 minutes or so. The mini muffins take typically about 20 minutes. So just, just keep an eye on them and when they spring back, after you touch them, they're done. Don't overbake. don't let them get dried out. Outside of the loaf pans, which is a really great way to get that to your guests and your customers, that sort of thing, another version of it is to put it in the mini cupcakes or the mini muffin, the standard cupcake size. People love these as well. These go really great to school. Um, another really great way to sneak some vegetables into the kids. One thing I want to point out is the containers that, the, that these go in, there's a short container and a tall container of the six packs. And if you'll look at this, this wouldn't go as well for a nicely decorated cupcake because it's gonna get smashed. But if you put a muffin in something tall like this, it kind of 
gets swallowed up and looks kind of silly. At the same time, this container would be great for a taller cupcake like this that you can show off your work and it doesn't get smashed. So they both play a specific role. The tall container is great for the cupcakes. The shorter container is much better for muffins. These are really compact and travel really easily. So I hope you'll take a look at all of the containers that we have to offer for muffins and cupcakes, other treats as well. And I hope you're gonna try out my zucchini bread recipe. Everybody in the family really, really loves it. And don't forget my glycerin tip. This is really great for all of your breads, muffins, cupcakes, wedding cakes, birthday cakes, that sort of thing. You're gonna find a lot of uses for this as well. So give it a try. I hope you'll like it and thanks for watching.